हेलो एवरी वन माई सेल्फ प्रियंका विजय कुलकर्णी दिस इज़ अवर वीडियो अबाउट दी डॉट ब्लॉट टेक्निक एंड इट कम्स अंडर योर सब्जेक्ट बायो फोर सेवन वन जीरो एडवांस इन आर डी एन ए टेक्नोलॉजी ओके सो प्रीवियसली वी ऑलरेडी गॉन थ्रू द सदर्न हाइब्रिडाइजेशन नॉर्दर्न हाइब्रिडाइजेशन एंड दी वेस्टर्न ब्लॉटिंग टेक्निक्स सो ओनली वन टेक्निक इज रिमेनिंग ओवर देयर एंड दैट वन इज नथिंग बट दी डॉट ब्लॉट टेक्निक डॉट ब्लॉट और इट इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज दी स्लॉट ब्लॉट टेक्निक ओके दिस टेक्निक इज यूज टू डिटेक द पर्टिक्युलर डी एन ए सिक्वेंस ओके और आर एन ए सिक्वेंस दिस टेक्निक इज यूज टू डिटेक्ट द आर एन ए और डी एन ए सिक्वेंस विच हैज टू बी ट्रांसफर और विच इज बींग ट्रांसफर इन नंबर ऑफ ट्रांसजेनिक इंडिविजुअल्स ओके यस मीन्स वॉट सपोज देर इज अ वन पर्टिक्युलर जीन ओके योर जीन ऑफ इंटरेस्ट एंड यू हैव मेक अ रिकॉम्बिनेट डी एन ए ऑफ दैट एंड यू हैव ट्रांसफर दैट योर जीन ऑफ इंटरेस्ट इन टू द नंबर ऑफ डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ द इंडिविजुअल्स ओके सो आफ्टर दैट यू हैव टू आइडेंटिफाई दैट इज दैट योर जीन ऑफ इंटरेस्ट इज रियली गॉन इन टू दैट इंडिविजुअल और नॉट ओके मीन्स यू हैव टू चेक दैट वॉट एवर यू प्रैक्टिकल हैज़ टू बी डन इट इज सक्सेसफुल इट इज सक्सेसफुली ट्रांसफर टू दैट इंडिविजुअल और नॉट देन हाउ वुड यू चेक सो दिस इज द टेक्निक टू चेक दिस थिंग्स मीन्स वॉट डॉट ब्लॉट इट इज अ टेक्निक विच इज यूज टू आइडेंटिफाई द प्रेजेंस ऑफ पर्टिक्युलर सिक्वेंस मीन्स जीन ऑफ इंटरेस्ट विच इज बींग ट्रांसफर्ड इन द नंबर ऑफ सस्पेक्टेड ट्रांसजेनिक इंडिविजुअल्स ओके हियर ऑल्सो इट इज गिवन दैट इट इज यूज टू डिटेक्ट द प्रोटीन्स एंड इट इज अ वेरी सिंप्लीफिकेशन वे ऑफ द वेस्टर्न ब्लॉटिंग मेथड देर इज ओनली वन एक्सेप्शन दैट protein to be detected are not first separated by the electrophoresis means what non fractionated dna or rna are used over here okay in western blotting what we are used in western blotting we have used the uh, dna or rna sample first of all they are denatured and they are gel electrophoresis and then we what we do we transfer that bands from the gel electrophoresis lab to the nitrocellulose membrane but here in dot blot technique it is very similar to the western blotting but what what is the difference or what is the exception over here the exception is that that uh, whatever the dna or rna sample you are using they are not gel electrophoresis okay means they are non fractionated samples yes so instead the sample is applied directly on the membrane in a single spot the blotting procedure is performed okay and uh, whatever the dot which are darker they indicate that there is a more protein and the blur, the dots which are lighter in uh, color they shows low concentration of the protein this technique offers significant saving in a time as a chromatography or gel electrophoresis okay and the complex plotting procedure for the gel is not required over here okay yes so basically what is this technique this technique it is used to detect the presence of our gene of interest in the non fractionated dna or rna okay the sample means this dna or rna from the is isolated from the several tissues of the individual which you have to test yes okay then this assay 
have the different applications also okay so basically what actually is procedure of this dot plot we are going to see this you got my point what is mean by this dot blot technique why it is called as the dot because whatever your dna or rna sample you are extracted from the individuals of the transgenic animal this rna or dna sample you are putting on the nitrocellulose membrane as a form of a dot okay that's why it is known as the dot blot technique okay yes and what is this dot plot or slot plot it is a technique which is used to detect the presence of gene of interest in the non fractionated this is important underline this non fractionated dna or rna sample from your suspected individuals okay yes so what is the method okay what is the procedure in this uh, procedure generally 1 to 2 microliter of the samples are uh, dotted or plotted onto the nitrocellulose or pvdf membrane and letting it dry then the samples can be in the form of tissue culture supernatant blood serum cell extract or any other preparation okay means suppose there are the different types of the transgenic animal or oh, okay or different types of the suspected individual in which you have already transferred your gene of interest now you have to check whether your experiment is successful or not means you have successfully transferred your gene of interest into this five individuals or not you have to take you have to check so what you have to do you have to isolate the particular cell extract or the blood sample or uh, means tissue culture supernatant any anything from that animals or from that suspected individuals okay so you have to take their uh, this type of the sample and you have to take 2 1 to 2 microliter of the sample and you have to put a dot okay on to one nitrocellulose membrane paper okay whether it is given or not okay let me show you suppose this is your nitrocellulose membrane okay you have this five individual 1 2 3 4 5 in which you have already transferred your gene of interest now you have to check whether your experiment is successful or not so what you have done you have isolated the sample either the sample may be anything okay it can be tissue culture supernatant blood serum cell extract or any other preparation now you have taken the five samples okay then what you have to do you have to take 1 to 2 microliter of this samples uh, five samples okay so this is sample 1 2 3 4 5 okay so you have put the dot of this sample onto the nitrocellulose membrane okay then next step what we have to do you next step is second step of uh, this experiment is denaturation in case of the dna okay suppose this individuals genetic material is dna okay so dna is what dna is double stranded okay so you have to denature it denaturation means what you have to make it a single stranded okay so uh, you have to treat this nitrocellulose membrane with different types of the denaturants so that your dna will get denature of these five samples okay then what is the next step next step you have to hybrid you have to hybridize or you have to use the radioactive probes okay what you have to use radioactive probes this probe now tell me one thing that whatever your gene of interest you have transferred into all these five individual you already know the sequence of that gene of interest okay as you particularly transfer that gene of interest so you know the sequence of that dna so what you have to do you have to prepare a particular probe okay which is probe means what it is nothing but the dna sequence which is complementary to your gene of interest 
okay so you have to make the particular probe which must be complementary to your gene of interest okay and which is radio label uh, either at the 3 prime or 5 prime which is radio label with the particular thing okay suppose 32 p okay uh, so this type of the probe you have to use suppose uh, yes yeah suppose this is your nitrocellulose membrane you have already denatured so it is a single stranded dna remain on this then second step you have to uh, hybridize it with the radioactive probe okay then you have used the radioactive probe over here which is complementary to your what gene of interest then next step is you have to wash off the unhybridized probe okay next step is auto radiography with x-ray films okay means suppose you have to auto radiograph this spot five spot okay then what happens suppose this spot is dark totally dark this spot is not that much but little bit dark okay means suppose this line these lines are there and uh, yes these two spots are totally dark this is uh, partially dark and these two spot are not dark okay then what is the result the result is that only the dark and the shaded spots appear on the x-ray film this samples means means sample number what this is sample number one two three four five okay now tell me in which sample they contain your gene of interest totally sample number two and sample number four why because it is dark in color means what from that five individual sample number two means second individual and the fourth individual second individual and the fourth individual they have successfully uh, carried your gene of interest means your experiment is successfully done with this with this two individuals okay yes and it is partially successfully done with the individual number five but it is not successfully done with individual one and three because the spot one and three it is not dark okay yes understood you get my point what i have to told you yes so this is all about the this is all about what this is all about the dot blot technique okay yes so different types of the denaturants also you can use and one important point over here is that what the sample must be non fractionated means you have to not subject that your sample to the gel electrophoresis so this is all about the this is all about what this is all about the dot plot method okay yes so what type of the apparatus you are using over here what i told you what are you are using you are only using the nitrocellulose filter paper your probes then your auto radiography material means you have to make a x-ray film of that and you have to make a what you have to use the uh, radioactive probe so these are the some type of the apparatus we, which we have to use okay yes uh, what are the uses performing a dot blot it is similar idea to performing a western blot with the advantage of faster speed and lower cost okay as compared to the western blotting it it is a faster speed and it is of the lower cost dot blot are also performed to screen the binding capability of the antibodies this is also one type of the important point okay yes yeah, so this is all about the your dot blot technique okay yes and uh, yes i'll tell you some a uh, few points like the dna which is first denature and then filter 
it is packed at 80 degrees celsius to fix the dna firmly onto the filter this is the one point which i have uh, remained to tell you that whatever dna you have put it as a dot onto that nitrocellulose membrane what you have to do you have to bake that paper at 80 degrees celsius why you have to bake you have to fix your DNA sample onto that nitrocellulose membrane. That's why you have to bake that filter at the 80 degrees Celsius. So this is the one important point. And uh, I think you are all get idea what is mean by the probe. Probe means what? It is a only DNA or RNA sequence. Okay. Which is complementary to your gene of interest. And what is the use of that probe? The use of that probe is then you have to identify that your experiment is successful or not you have to use that probe to bind against your gene of interest so that you will get idea that whatever you have gene of interest is transferred to the transgenic animals or transgenic plants or anything or not okay so this is the basic idea of using the probes and using this dot 